If you're wondering what the difference is between trapezoid and a rhombus, you've come to the right place. Let's get started. A trapezoid and a rhombus are two different types of quadrilaterals with distinct characteristics. Here's an explanation of the differences between a trapezoid and a rhombus. Definition and shape of trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. The non-parallel sides can be of different lengths, and the angles formed by the intersecting sides can vary. Definition and shape of rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral with all four sides of equal length. It is characterized by opposite sides that are parallel to each other. The angles of a rhombus are also equal, with all four angles measuring 90 degrees. Side lengths of trapezoid. In a trapezoid, the lengths of the sides can vary. The non-parallel sides, known as the legs, may have different lengths, while the parallel sides, called the bases, are parallel to each other. Side lengths of rhombus. In a rhombus, all four sides have the same length. The opposite sides are parallel to each other, and all sides are congruent. Angle measures of trapezoid. Trapezoids do not have specific requirements for angle measures. The angles formed by the intersecting sides can vary, and the sum of the interior angles is always 360 degrees. Angle measures of rhombus. In a rhombus, all four angles are equal and measure 90 degrees. The diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at right angles. Diagonals of trapezoid. The diagonals of a trapezoid are not necessarily equal in length. They connect the non-adjacent vertices and divide the trapezoid into two triangles. Diagonals of rhombus. The diagonals of a rhombus are always perpendicular to each other, bisecting the angles. They are also of equal length and intersect at their midpoints. Symmetry of trapezoid. Trapezoids do not possess any inherent symmetry properties, as their sides and angles can vary. Symmetry of rhombus. Rhombuses are symmetrical quadrilaterals. They have rotational symmetry of order 2, meaning they can be rotated by 180 degrees and still appear the same. In summary, the main differences between a trapezoid and a rhombus lie in their shape, side lengths, angle measures, diagonals, and symmetry properties. While a trapezoid has at least one pair of parallel sides and varying angles and side lengths, a rhombus has all four sides equal in length, congruent angles, perpendicular diagonals, and symmetrical properties. If you found this video interesting, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let us know if we missed anything in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future.